what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Today's tutorial is another collaboration that I'm doing with my friend Alessandro Boncio, and he's the head guy over at RenderKing.it, so make sure to check them out. Alessandro's been playing a lot with Fields, the new system in R20, and he found a really fun way to make some organic growth. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that, so here we go. First thing we're gonna do is add a torus. So let's add a torus to our scene. We're gonna flip it so that it faces the camera. And let's go ahead and add grout shading with lines so that we can see the subdivisions. And we're gonna to need to add some more subdivision to this. So let's go to our torus and under the segments, let's kick this up to 90. Let's kick the uh, radius up a little bit to 70 to make it fatter and we'll make these pipe segments 25. All right, so we got a little bit of extra subdivision here. And now we're gonna to have to add a displacer to add the noise. So the way we're gonna do that is adding one of these deformers called the displacer deformer. Now you can find it in here. Um, I kind of have a hard time digging through all these. So what I like to do is hit shift and then C and it'll bring up a little dialogue where you can type it in. And I like to just type in displacer and you can hit enter and add it right there. So we're gonna take our displacer and put it inside the torus and we're going to go to our shading tab and we're going to add a gradient into here. So we'll go down to gradient, dive into the gradient, and you can see that we're already displacing our torus. We want this to actually be a step fall off. So let's go to highlight both of these knots and right click, we'll go to interpolation and change that to step. <laughs> All right, now we have white on one side and black on the other, and we're gonna add a whole bunch of these. Let's double click on the white, and let's change the uh, the position of that knot to 50%, so it's right in the middle. And then what we can do is just right click inside of this panel right here, and let's click double knots. And if we double them over and over and over, we can quickly add a bunch of them. So we'll double them again, right click, double. We'll go ahead and right click and double them maybe two more times, something like that. All right, so this is a little bit too perfect. We want this to be organic. So let's back out of here and under the shader, let's go ahead and click that triangle and add a layer. And that way, once we go in here, we can add another shader on top of this. And this time we're gonna add a noise. And this is just going to break up the pattern a little bit. Let's drag the noise below the gradient and we'll change the gradient to add. That way we're mixing between the gradient and the noise. So you can see that we have the influence of that noise affecting the gradient. All right, let's go into the noise and maybe kick up the, uh, the global scale to 200% and give it a little bit more contrast. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Let's go back to our displacer under the uh, object and let's kick up the height to 50%. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, now we're gonna add some subdivision to smooth all this out. We're gonna add a subdivision surface and dump our torus into that. And now we're getting something that looks a little more interesting and organic. All right, so we're gonna talk about how to animate this on using the new field system in R20. And we're gonna do that inside of the displacer under the fall off tab. So with R20, we have all of these new features in the field system and it can get very complicated pretty quickly. There's so much to go over here. Uh, we're gonna keep it pretty simple today and just use a spherical fall off. So we're gonna use the spherical field. And if we push this through our object, you can now see that it is revealing that uh, displacer effect which is really cool. So already you could do some really fun stuff with this, but we actually want to have this animation kind of grow on. And we're going to do that using a freeze effect. So under the displacer, under fall off, and if you click and hold on the white ones, it'll say modifier layers, and let's click on freeze. Now, the thing about freeze is we have a freeze and a clear button. So if we hit play now, you can see that the initial state of this torus now has this kind of bubble in it. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is take that spherical field and move it away from our torus, go back to our displacer under the freeze and click clear. And then it's gonna have that initial state. Then we can go back to the beginning and hit freeze. And now we're gonna be able to have this grow on. The way that we're gonna have it grow on is by changing the mode from none to grow. And if we hit play right now, nothing's gonna happen. That's because in our layer stack in the displacer, we have freeze and spherical field, but you're not gonna be able to see through the freeze to the spherical field unless you change the blending mode to add, and then it's gonna mix the two of them. So the freeze we're gonna to change to add, and now it should calculate both of them. So let's hit play and then move our spherical field through here. And you can see that it is slowly growing on. So this is already getting close to the effect that we want. 
So very cool. The thing that is kind of stopping it from growing on is if we go to our displacer under the radius, it's a pretty small radius. So if we kick that up to 15 and now move our spherical field through there, it should grow on a little bit further. And if we want to have it grow on the entire thing, we could probably increase that to maybe 20 or so. And let's see what that does. All right, so now we are growing on the whole thing, which is perfect. So now what we can do is hit play and then just animate this guy onto our torus and we'll have that really cool animation. All right, so one thing is that it's animating very kind of slowly and rigidly. So we'll probably wanna make it a little more organic and we can do that by going to the displacer and adding another effect to this stack. So let's go to our modifier layers and let's add a delay modifier. So we'll add delay and we'll change the mode to spring and let's see what that does. So now we're getting that really nice blobby on effect. We can even increase the strength if we wanna have it more blobby. All right, so now the setup is complete and all you have to do is go to your spherical field and add a couple keyframes. You can get that really, really nice organic growing on kind of animation, which is a lot of fun to play around with. And also because we added that delay effect, so it's kind of blobby, if you wanted to, you could uncheck that freeze and instead of growing on, you could kind of just animate this sphere wherever you wanted it to. And it kind of blobs on with that delay animation, which gives you a lot of really cool effects as well. So just a couple things to think about, a lot of different things you can play with. And since this is all procedural, you can change the look really quickly by playing with your noise or any of these effects. Huge thanks to Alessandro Boncio for creating this technique. Make sure to check him out at renderking.it and also check out the pixellab.net. Hope you guys found this useful and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.